Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social and Association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here post fight. Mr. Tony Sims, not meant to be tonight, but what a gutsy performance from your man, John, John Ryder. Yeah, <coughs> and um, he put up a you know, spirited performance, and um, I'm proud of his performance. He, um, he got hurt in the second round and broke his nose, and uh, I think that. Put him back for a few rounds, got caught in the fifth, got put down. But it seemed like once he got through that sort of early stage, as the fight went on into the later rounds, he come on stronger. I thought he won the last three rounds. Um, look, you yourself, after those sort of sort of shaky early rounds, maybe to be quite honest, um, was there ever any concern? His nose was quite a horrible sight in there from quite early on, taking some shots to the body, etc. Was there ever a concern that you know it wouldn't have gone as far as it did? Yeah, you know, I know John really well, and uh, he's a very strong man, John Ryder, and he's 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 got a lot of heart and determination, and he trains really hard. So I knew that he was. I mean, what do you have to do to change the game plan there? Because it did put a spanner in the work straight away, something that you can never sort of prepare for. John's saying that's the first time his nose has been broken in his whole career. What do you and the team have to implement in that case? It's just about trying to stop the blood flow, really, which was really difficult. Um, the cut man, Mark Seltzer, was plugging the nose and trying to stop it, but he, as you see, it was just streaming, and uh, it was one of them nosebleeds that there weren't a lot you could do about it, really, and... Um, that's why John started standing up in the corner because he felt when he was sitting down, he, he couldn't breathe properly. So uh, he, he started standing up in between rounds. But um, he put up a great performance in the end. And uh, I, it, I thought if he'd have started a bit earlier in the fight um, from the middle rounds like he did the late rounds, you know what I mean? It would have been a closer fight. But listen, like he said, uh, Canelo's an all time great. and. Um, I think John's stock has risen through that fight. The Mexicans love him out here, absolutely love him. They like they love a fight, a fighter like him that you know goes and trades with with a superstar like Alvarez, and um, he, he was a great fight in the end. Tony, sort of in that fight, there were times where obviously he was down fairly early, and you know sort of wobbled back at times onto the ropes, etc. Um, a credit to the referee actually, who. who Sort of at times, there's some refs who maybe halt the contest prematurely. Uh, he had full faith in John Ryder tonight, and rightly so. Um, did you ever consider throwing the towel in? No, I mean, when John went down with that shot in the fifth, it was a great shot. It was a straight right hand, and caught him on the button. But I see him taking the count on his knee, on one knee. And he just seemed fine when he got up from that. And uh, yeah, as you yeah, see... He came back the yeah, yeah, strongest he'd been. Back. Yeah, and started letting his hands go. But, um, no, I didn't think there was ever a time in the fight that I was going to stop the fight. Moving forward, 168, a division full of talent. Obviously, Canelo out the way, but you've got Benavidez, you've got Caleb Plant. The list goes on. Uh, John is 34 now, but he wants to carry on fighting. He believes he can compete at the top level. Do um, you believe now, if anything, he's more credible for all those big fights at 168? Yeah, as you say, there's, some, <coughs> there's some, still some big fights out there for him. And um, you know, Eddie, Eddie just mentioned to us about making, maybe making a Golotkin fight at the end of this year with John. So there's big fights out there for him, and people want to fight him because, look, at the end of the day, he put a good performance in against Canelo, and. Uh, there's not a lot of fighters that have gone through the 12 rounds with him. So, um, you know, he, um, he's still got plenty to offer the game. Tony, I've been with you guys all week, and of course you believe that your man would be victorious, but like you say, his stock has risen tonight. Emotionally, what's the feeling? Quite quiet in here, but John um, got a real smile on his face, still up and about chatting to everyone. Um, you know... I know you're not going to be happy, of course, but what are the emotions right now? Well, I'm obviously pleased that John's come out of the ring healthy, which is the main thing, and um, John come to win the fight, and he never won the fight, and, uh, you know, that's off to Canelo, he, he, he boxed well, and um, 
Uh, John's still got le plenty left in the tank. There's still plenty, like you say, there's plenty of big fights out there um, for him. And um, he'll just have a nice break with his family now. And then we'll sit down and be ready and decide what the next move is. Tony, lastly from me, on the record, I'd just like to say thank you for everything this week. Really welcome me and I've enjoyed every single minute uh, with the team, so really thank you for that. Yeah, it's good having you around us, Parsons. You're a nice kid, mate. Top man. Tony Sims, thank you very much.